Dear students, in the first session, we have defined what is statistics and also the type of data used in statistical analysis. In the present session, we consider the type of statistical studies. Now in statistics, statistical studies consist of descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Statistical studies is classified into descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics and inferential stat statistics. Descriptive statistics consists of methods of organizing and summarizing information. Methods of organizing and summarizing information or data. So to organize and summarize information or data, we use graphs, charts, tables, etc. Also, to describe data, we calculate various descriptive measures such as averages, measures of variations, percentiles, etc. So, in descriptive statistics, we present the data in various forms using charts, graphs, tables, etc. And also we calculate descriptive measures like uh, averages, like uh, uh, measures of variations, percentiles, etc. As an example, uh, if uh, an examination is conducted in a class, we will present the results the marks obtained by the students in the form of graph, chart, tables, etc. for various subjects. We also calculate the average mark, the variability in the marks, the percentiles, etc. etc. This is what is known as descriptive statistics. The second one is inferential statistics. It consists of Methods for drawing and measuring the reliability of conclusions about a population based on information obtained from the sample of the population. Inferential statistics is concerned with the methods and procedures to assess the reliability of information obtained from a sample to draw conclusions about the population. Stated differently, inferential statistics is concerned with making inferences about population and various characteristics of the population, like a population mean, population variance, etc., based on samples taken from the population, based on samples taken from the population. A classic example is, in the 1948 presidential elections, President, the incumbent President Truman, uh, wanted to know what is his, what is the possibility that he will be re-elected. 
in the gallop pole gallop pole it was predicted that he will receive only 44.5% of the vote and will be defeated by his rival thomas dv thomas dv but when the results were announced truman won more than 49% of the votes and the presidency so this gallup poll is an example of inferential statistics an example of inferential statistics you know that for uh, determining the outcome of a presidential election you have to consult each and every us voter that is you have to consult what is known as the population population all the voters but it is difficult because the number is so huge so what we do is we select a sample we select a sample from the population and the statistician analyze the information obtained from the sample to make inferences about population parameters that is the voting behavior and this this information about the polling outcome suggested by the sample was faulty we will see in the next session what is wrong with the, the procedure actually conducted in the 1948 presidential election so the point is in the inferential statistics statisticians use tools and procedures to make inferences about the populations based on samples drawn from the population and in this course that is in this discussion we are mainly concerned with the inferential statistics we will use descriptive statistics but our primary focus is inferential statistics because in research as you will see later we our concern is to make inferences about population parameters population characteristics based on samples collected from it now what is a population population also known as the universe consists of universe consists of the collection of all individuals under consideration in a gallup poll it is the entire voters of a country suppose that uh, you want to study the consumption income relationship of households of kerala then all the households of kerala is the universe or the population and what is a sample sample is a subset of the population a part of the population as universe is very vast it is not possible to make inferences about the universe or the population based on each and every unit of the population so what we do is we take a sample and make inferences about the population based on the sample because this is what is feasible now in the form of a graph so this is the population this is the sample population consists of all the units sample so this is a sample this is taken as a sample this is taken as a sample this is taken as a sample like this we take a selected number of items from the population so descriptive statistics and inferential statistics to remember this 
even though the objective of descriptive statistics is different from that of inferential statistics, both are interrelated. Once a researcher collects data, before using this data for making inferences about population, the researcher will organize the data in the form of chart, graphs, etc. to get a better understanding about the nature of the data. He will also calculate sample quantities and these sample quantities are used for making inferences about population parameters. So, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics are related. But remember this, if the purpose of this study is to examine information for its own intrinsic interest only, the study is descriptive. It is not used for any other purpose. For example, a teacher conducts an examination in a classroom for a particular subject. So suppose that there are 100 students in the class. The marks may be arranged by the teacher in the form of a table first, a histogram. Then the teacher may calculate the average mark, the variation of mark among the students, etc. It is not used for any purpose. It is used for its own intrinsic purpose value only, then it is essentially descriptive. Then, if uh, the descriptive measures like uh, sample mean, sample standard deviation, etc., are used to make uh, inferences about population parameters, population, then it is inferential statistics. It is inferential statistics. So, a descriptive study is performed either on a sample or on a population, but inferential statistics is based on sample only. Descriptive statistics can be based on sample or population, but inferential statistics is based on sample only. That is, sample quantities are Based, are used to make uh, inferences about population parameters. That is the difference between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. We also classify statistical studies into two other ways also. One is observational studies. We also classify statistical studies into observational studies and designed experiments. Designed experiments. Statistical studies are also classified into observational studies and designed experiments. One classification is descriptive versus inferential. The second classification is observational versus designed experiments. In the observational studies, the researchers simply observe the characteristics and take the measurement as in a sample survey. The researcher simply observe the characteristics of the sample. And in the designed experiments, the researcher imposes treatments or and controls, treatments and controls, and then observe the characteristics and take measurements. In the observational studies, the researcher simply observe the characteristics. For example, if you want to study the income distribution among households. You collect data on the income of each and every household. It is an observational study. In the designed experiments, the researcher will design an experiment. He will impose treatments and controls and observe the outcomes. 
in medical studies, in agricultural experiments, etc. It is designed experiments. We will consider examples. Now, in the case of observational studies, we can, we will get only association. Or observational studies can, can reveal only association. Designed experiments, on the other hand, help to establish causation. So, in the observational studies, we can only establish associate, we can only establish what is known as, we can only uh, establish what is known as association, whereas in the case of observational studies, we can establish design experiments, we can establish causality. Now, in an observational study, someone is observing the data which is already existing. Whereas, in the designed experiments, data do not exist until someone does something to produce it. That is the difference. In observational studies, we observe data which already exists. But in designed experiments, data do not exist before someone does something to produce it. So, in the first case, data only exists. As an example, consider the case of smoking and cancer. Data on smoking, cancer, etc. exists. So, it is an observational study. As an example to designed experiments, it is extensively used in medical research. Folic acid and birth defects and birth defects. Folic acid and birth defects. An example quoted is in the study 4,753 women were taken and uh, divided into two groups. One group received 0.8 mg of folic acid. The other group received what is known as placebo. Placebo means no folic acid. It is a designed experiment. So, a, lo, lo, a large number of women, pregnant women were selected, divided into two groups. One group was given folic acid and the number of defects, defective birth per thousand was denoted. In the first case, it was only 13 per thousand births. In the second case, it was 23 per thousand births. So, in this case, Data exists or data is generated by the researcher by using a designed experiment. So, two other, another classification is between observational studies and designed experiments. One classification is, as we have seen in the beginning, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. About this, we will explain the, how to design experiments, etc. will be considered in detail in later classes.